the picture of how this this works is like um, the place where where a computer is storing the information is like this green with the copper and and gold and these shiny dots. Basically, the pyramids are like those shiny dots and all the grid around through where the information goes through is the water below. So basically, the water below and all the chambers below the, the, the pyramids and the temples, they are the ones um, uh, sharing the information, bringing the information, channeling the information, and the pyramids are like the computers that spread that information. This is why Every pyramid is connected to the grid in the underground. And uh, as you have shafts for the water uh, below, you have shafts in the chambers above to connect with the uh, invisible links in the sky, which is uh, the connection with the stars. That would be the ether. So water and ether would be the two different ways of information that are stored in the center of the pyramid so you could create the grid. So they work together. It's like a whole system, like a computer. From Giza Plateau, they started to build the whole network, not only in the invisible connection uh, through the atmosphere and to the magnetical field, but also in the underground. So they started to build this whole big network in the underground um, with tunnels that go from here to Israel, from there to Iraq, to, um, to Turkey, and from Turkey, which is the head of the snake, the, the most important thing, the most important place from where all the energy spreads uh, physically around the world, they started to create all this grid towards Europe and India. So for sure, uh, all the tunnels that um, some people know in Romania and some other parts of Europe, they're all linked and connected because it was all, all a great greed. Could there be a massive underground grid that spans across Egypt, India, and Europe? It just so happens that in the Bushegi Mountains of Romania, there is what is referred to as the Romanian Sphinx. This monument faces north, and legends of tunnels that hold evidence of a different kind of hall of records have been told here for decades. Elders from this region have talked about three tunnels, one that goes to Inner Earth, another that goes to Tibet, and the third that goes all the way to Giza. Could this be the connection to the Giza Plateau? If this is true, who or what might have built this? <laughs> <laughs>